Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Welcome back to the channel. So today we are making pulled pork. No, I'm not canning this one, but I'm making it for my youngest child has been asking for it for a while. Here are the ingredients that we will be using. Basil, oregano, parsley, minced garlic, garlic powder and onion powder, liquid smoke, and a sugar-free barbecue rub because I will be adding my own brown sugar. Olive oil, one onion, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. This is what's gonna make this pulled pork come to life. This is homemade barbecue sauce by my father-in-law. When I tell you this barbecue sauce is so delicious and I intend to hopefully one day make this myself and sell it. That's how good it is. It makes you wanna slap your mama. Make you wanna slap your mama, don't it Willie? Yeah boy, hey mama. What the hell you want with? So first I'm starting off with a seven pound pork butt. And I'm also using a secret ingredient, Coca-Cola. Some people use the broth, but I'm gonna use this right here. So now I'm gonna wash it really well on both sides. I wash it with the water and I also add a white vinegar to clean it as well and wash again. So I position the pork butt on the dish. That way I can trim off a lot of that fat. You don't want all of that. You're gonna still have some on there. And on the other side, you're gonna have great marbling, but you wanna get the majority of this fat pocket off of this pork butt. So now that I've cut off a lot of the fat from the back. You're not gonna get it all off and you have nice marbling on the front side. You're just gonna take some of this olive oil. I normally use avocado oil, but I'm out. I just love it so much, I'm out and I have to get some more and that stuff is not cheap. So you're just gonna coat both sides. I just coat my hand. Hands are clean, get all up in the cracks. Next, you wanna start adding your ingredients and rubbing it all over the pork butt. Um, you are welcome to use whatever ingredient you want to use. This is just what I like to use.
You also can use whatever barbecue rub you would like to use. I chose to use one that has no sugar in it because I wanted to be able to know how much sugar I'm adding to the rub itself. So I'm gonna come in right after I rub this and I'll rub the brown sugar on it. So now you wanna get ready before you put your pork butt into the crock pot. Cut up one onion. Okay y'all, so now we're at the point where we are about to add our, to add our Boston butt to the crock pot. But before we do that, we have to dice up some onions, one onion. You can use half an onion. I love onions. So what I'm gonna do is layer these onions right here at the bottom of this pot, crock pot. Then I'm gonna add my um, butt, that didn't sound right. <laughs> I'm gonna add my pork butt to the crock pot and I'll be adding some liquid smoke to that. And I'm only gonna add one teaspoon of the liquid smoke, and then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of the minced garlic. And then I'm gonna show you my uh, little special ingredient that I'm gonna put in there. Some people like to use beef broth at the bottom. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So stay tuned. I thought I had this on high and I actually had it on warm so you're gonna put your crock pot on high mine is not a digital if you have a digital that's even better so all i'm gonna do is layer these down into the pot now you don't have to do this part but I'm gonna just add a little bit of olive oil to the crock pot. So now we're going to add the one tablespoon of minced garlic to the onions. And if you like garlic, you can add more. I'm just gonna add this. I'm so messy. I wouldn't be me if I didn't make a mess. You know what I'm saying? So now we're at the point where the crock pot is hot enough. We're going to go ahead and add this pork butt. This is seven pounds if I did not say so. And we're just going to put it in there like this. It's not a really big crock pot, but it'll hold this, this amount of meat in there. And the seasoning smell really, really good. Let me wipe my hands. Okay. So now what we are going to add is the liquid smoke. And let's remember we're only doing one teaspoon because uh, liquid smoke can be very strong. Do not pour the liquid smoke directly on the meat, place it around the meat, or you can put it in before you add the pork butt to the crock pot. So now for my special ingredient, it is a 12 ounce bottle of Coca-Cola. I'm going to add this around, but not on top of the meat. Just pour it around the pork butt. This is gonna bring out the flavor in the pork butt. It's going to make it more juicy, more tender. I promise you, you will love it. 
Again, don't pour it directly onto the meat, just pour it around there. And I would not use too much because you don't want it to overflow once the pork butt starts um, producing its own juices. You don't want that coming out of your crock pot. So you can see what I did was, this is a 12 ounce bottle. I had to do a voiceover because my child came out with their loud music. And I didn't want to, other than making a mess right here, I didn't want to put too much in there because remember the fat that's on here is going to render down. So you're going to have more juices in this. And this um, Coca-Cola is going to make this meat so tender, so juicy. So we're about to put the top on. After we put the lid on, I'm going to set a timer because this one does not have a timer on it. If you have one with the timer on it, just set it for eight hours and forget it. My initial timer, I set it for four hours. That way I can go back and see where we are in the cooking process. And then I reset my timer for another four hours. So my second timer went off at the eight hour mark. I had went in, checked it, used the fork to poke around it is very tender however the meat was not fully done so I extended my eight hour cooking time to actually 10 hours so I added an additional two hours after checking it right here so I say that to say this every crock pot does not cook the same so you do have to check your meat um, I would not suggest going over 10 hours, however, but for my crock pot, it came out perfect. It was so juicy and so tender. So this is finally done. It took longer than eight hours. Um, I timed it for eight hours and it still was not all the way ready. So I did an additional, so I did a total of 10 hours in this crock pot, but you can start with eight because everybody's crock pot is different. And now I'm just gonna take it out. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so delicious and it was just falling apart. I could barely get it out. So this was a bone in, that's the bone right there. I, I saved it, I'm gonna use it in a dish later. So this seven pound uh, pork butt, it did make two pans for me. In that plate is that bone that I set aside. So now I'm just shredding the uh, pork butt. You can shred it as thick or as thin as you want it. My youngest child was standing right there waiting at two in the morning. Determined to eat at 2 a.m. in the morning. So right now I am pouring the fabulous barbecue sauce that my father-in-law made. Um, this pulled pork is absolutely nothing without it. It tastes good, but you need this sauce or whatever sauce you like to your taste. And so you'll see my fork in there stirring it around, but then you'll also see another third fork come in and that would be my youngest child. Just had to get a little sample before they made their sandwich. I'm going to do it. 
So here are the final results. I had two pans of the pulled pork just ready to go. It looks delicious. I, that's the rest of the pulled pork that I put in the other pan. So y'all try this recipe. You will absolutely love every minute of it.